Hello and welcome to today's Projector in Business with Jess and this week I'm introducing the gratitude ritual of the week which is about relationships. So, so far over the last <clears throat> three weeks, just a brief recap, we have set intentions for all, all, all areas of our lives. We have spent a week beginning to embed a practice which is counting our blessings. So we're looking at 10 things a day that we can really appreciate and feel gratitude for. Um, we have been developing the magic rock at night. So we have reviewed the day and we've tuned in to the thing that we're most, most grateful for and the thing that gave us most joy that day before we sleep. And as we do that, we start to train the subconscious mind to notice things to be grateful for, to notice all the good in our life and to raise our frequency in our actual body so that we are lining up with things that we that are more are, are positive. So this week, we're now moving into a new practice, which is really about fostering admiration and appreciation for people in our lives. What I've noticed is that it's very easy for us to look at what doesn't work or look at what frustrates us in other people. And I, the other thing I recognized was, why is it we only celebrate people and really honor them mostly when they're dead rather than when they're alive? Why aren't we telling people how much we love them? Why aren't we telling people about the qualities that, that make, you know, that make them really special and that we appreciate them and why we appreciate them in our lives so the uh process this week is really simple it's going to the group go into the file section download the pdf and get started so it's looking at three people a week that you can really focus on the attributes and the qualities that that they have that you can appreciate and you can do it in two ways. You can write it down in a letter so that you're just pouring the energy into the page and really thinking about it. And as you think about it, you're connecting and tuning in with these energies. Or what's even better, and it really is so powerful when you do this and you do it with love and you do it with truth and integrity, um, when you tell them, when you tell them directly, why you are so grateful for that or why you appreciate that person in your life or notice noticing when somebody does something that is just beautiful kind thoughtful something they didn't have to do but they did that you know so those those are the two ways that I've been introducing this practice but there's another thing that I introduce when I do workshops for leaders and entrepreneurs to develop wellness in the workplace and it's the same kind of thing because it doesn't matter what the relationship is. It doesn't matter if it's an intimate partner, a family member, a friend, a colleague. And it's really powerful to do this in your business or in your workplace. And it's about you can tune in and meditate There's because this is the third way of doing it that I haven't spoken about in the group. But you can actually just take some time to really close your eyes, get grounded, tune into the body, drop into the heart space. And as you do that, you can start to review and bring up a conversation, a circumstance or situation that you've had with that person, what they said, what they looked like, their facial expressions, the way you felt, you know, um, and bring it all up. And as you bring it up, your mind, as you know, your subconscious doesn't know the difference between reality and uh, memory. That's why so often we're jumping into situations from bringing energy from a past memory to a present situation moment that has no connection. That's why it's so important to really work with our subconscious, work with ourselves to look at what, what is driving the behavior in the present. But anyway, that's a side note. So coming back, when you tune in and come up with three characteristics that you admire about a colleague or a friend or a family member or a lover, um, you might, for example, 
notice that they are solutions focused, that they're honest, um, generous, and take a moment to think about what they were doing when they said it, how they were feeling, how what you were feeling, and as a result, you start to tune into the energy of deep appreciation deep gratitude and you're bringing and anchoring yourself into the present moment with those feelings and this is when not only are you shifting your own frequency but you're also sending this energy of love and this energy of this high vibrational thought forms to that person too and it just creates a nice loop so why is this important why do I bring it back to projectors? And actually, again, you know, we can talk about manifestors, manifesting generators. You're here to be, most of us are here to be in joy. In our highest frequency, in our signature themes, where wellness is the foundation. So, you know, if you're a Manny Gen, you're feeling uplifted, you're showing, you're helping people to know what's possible. If you're a manifester, you're feeling peaceful, you're feeling in the flow, you're, you're not resisting being told what to do or feeling constricted and the same with the projector when we are honoring our energetic blueprint we are in flow we are feeling successful and that feeling is something we cultivate from within and it for me i align it with joy i align it with peace i align it with feeling like i'm recognized and what i have to say is magical and it brings me a pleasure to share or create something and move that energy through me. <clears throat> it's pleasure. That's that's it. And it's not to say that we don't feel, you know, if you're an emotionally defined um, person, you're going to have your waves and that's okay. There's no, it's not about labelling. Everything's neutral. Emotions are neutral. But what I'm saying is that we can actually influence the energy field and what we are allowing into our lives and what we are aligning with in our lives through the power of our thoughts, our emotional states, having mastery of these areas. And it, it, it changes everything because I, before I had my own awakening, I was being I was being dragged around by the world and being reactive by the mind and angry about politics, angry about the education system, drawn into fights that weren't mine, like always reacting, reacting, reacting until I took back my power and I became centered. I became present. I decided that I wanted to be optimistic and look for the beauty in, the li in life. And that was more aligned with my actual truth. It was before I read about the mind, mindset it was before I learned about uh, affecting my attitude before I learned all of the, all of the things and it's just literally universal laws like we're here to actually learn to master the plane of opposites and how do we do that we do that by understanding our energy we un we do that by mastering our uh, how our emotions work and what the guidance tells us we do that by exploring our thoughts and tuning into our feelings and mastering the way that we feel so that we can make decisions that align us with the desires and the aspirations that we have for our pathways. And I guess, you know, I'm speaking to awakened people. You're here to be a frequency master. And this is one of the ways that you can do it. Okay, so thank you for watching. I would love it if you came into the Mindset Alchemy community for solopreneurs um, creating lives and businesses by design to come and engage with the community to come and ask questions to be there when I start leading my master classes which will be coming up in the next few months um, and just to connect collaborate and create that's what it's about so come into the group it's a free community um, you will have access to really high quality resources to help you align, to create, to collaborate with others and to um, build what you're building on this, on this, in this plane and do what you're doing in a very high frequency way. Um, sending you so much love 
and I hope to see you in the group. Bye.